Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Alfred Grant. I am an organic farmer from Austria and part of the TRACE consortium. TRACE is an Erasmus Plus project and aims to provide farmers and trainers with tools to put agroecological practices, including social aspects, into action and share generated knowledge and experience with the broad farming community across Europe. This video is about reduced tillage, no-till and seed coating with earthworm compost. Why do we want to reduce tillage in the first place, since it is used for soil loosening, seedbed preparation and weed and nutrient management? Unfortunately, tillage also has negative effects. Humus is easily broken down and mineralized nutrients may be washed out. Soil aggregates melt away and the soil crusts preventing water infiltration and air exchange. Worked soils are prone to erosion by water or wind. The habitat of soil life is destroyed and must be rebuilt again and again. The over-loosened soil collapses, causing soil compaction that necessitates retilling. The soil becomes addicted to tillage, so to speak. What are the challenges to successfully implement reduced tillage? Soil compaction can only be repaired to a limited extent, possibly increased wheat pressure in the short term and mineralization from tillage only occurs to a limited extent. Later soil warming and wetter working conditions in the field may occur in spring. Using Grand Farm as an example, I would like to show how reduced tillage can be implemented. The plow was banned from our farm about 30 years ago. We then used a two-beam 4.7 meter wide fixed wing cultivator to a depth of about 15 centimeter. With a total weight of 11 tons, this often led to further soil compaction and the plow pan. Instead of working deeper again, in 2014, we switched to a 100 horsepower four cylinder tractor and a semi mounted 3 meter cultivator with goose food tiles. We now work almost entirely only 4 to 5 centimeter deep. The smaller tractor with half the total weight and the semi mounted cultivator allow us to reduce the tire pressure to a maximum of 0.6 bar. The cultivator works across the entire surface and therefore also cuts off root weeds and deposits the above ground biomass on the surface as a mulch layer. In this way we reduce erosion and evaporation and the earthworms can find their food optimally. The roots of the cut plants remain vertical in their root canals and when they slowly rot they make room for new roots, which find not only space but also food and soil life. The existing root canals allow new roots to take over soil space without the need to mechanically loosen the soil. How can we solve challenges? First and foremost, we must be careful to stop soil compaction by heavy tractors and harvesters. Only drive on soil when it's readily passable. Check tire pressure and do not allow high axle loads on the field. Any initial increase in wheat pressure can be prevented through crop rotation, cover crop implementation and careful crop management. Reduced mineralization and nutrient supply is prevented by crop rotation, cover crop management and compost and manure application. Seed inoculation with compost extracts can improve biodiversity in rhizosphere and serves as a tool for the plant to manage nutrient mineralization and many other life processes. Liquid extracts from compost, so-called compost teas, have proven successful for seed inoculation. These are produced either in an aerated system within 24 hours with the help of additional feed or unaerated over several days in shallow vessels stirred again and again. The ratio of compost to water is approximately 1 to 10 to 1 to 20, whereby the water is not allowed to be chlorinated. 
do not add molasses to non-aerated compost teas. The compost teas are mixed in diluted 1 to 10 with an application rate of about 1 liter per 100 liter of seed and the seed is sown immediately after drying. Most seeds absorb the liquid immediately and are dry again after a few minutes. But some fine seeds such as clover and especially linseed may stick together. In this case it is recommended to mix the compost tea by hand with a pump sprayer so that no clumping occurs. How can you integrate reduced soil management on your own farm? In the beginning there is the management, not the technology. If you do decide to use new technology, you don't have to buy all the equipment yourself. You can often use contractors or rental machines or even shared machines. One investment that pays off is a tire pressure control system. Simple but highly efficient systems are available for just a few hundred euros. No-till is the supreme discipline among arable farming methods, especially when no herbicides are used. But it also offers huge potential in terms of soil health, such as carbon sequestration and erosion control, as well as reduced inputs and yield stability. The best known method is the so-called roller crimper method, developed by my friend Jeff Moyer from Rodil Institute in Pennsylvania, USA. With this method, a winter cover crop, for example rye, is rolled down in spring and soybeans, for example, are seeded into the resulting mulch layer. In arid regions with less than 600 mm total annual precipitation, the autumn variant is increasingly proving valuable. A frost-killed summer crop is rolled over in the fall to sow winter wheat, for example. Compared to spring, the autumn variant has no delayed sowing date of the cash crop, no water competition between cover crop and cash crop, and less risk that the cover crop will re-establish. To ensure adequate wheat suppression, winter rye should have an above-ground dry matter biomass of about 7 to 10 tons per hectare when rolled over. This can be achieved if, for example, seed is sown as early as the beginning of September, with a seed rate of about 200 kg per hectare. The next challenge is the time of rolling. This must be conducted when all rye plants are in full bloom. Only then will the plants reliable die and stop growing. Flowering time can be greatly influenced by cultivar selection in winter greening. The final challenge is germination of the cash crop. When the seed does not get enough moisture, it can be difficult. In spring, drought conditions, an irrigation option is a definite advantage. We hope we were able to pass on a few tips on how soil conservation tillage methods can look from an agroecological standpoint. One final tip. Talk to like-minded farmers and learn from their experiences. Together you will reach your goal much faster. Good luck and healthy soil.